How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and today we are going to be getting into this very exciting episode. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we're making good progress on our wool farm. So I think we should just do a little cleanup of our base around here. I think I'm going to give this wheat a chance to grow and it looks like all of my baby calves have grown up so it's time to do a little harvest you know what i'm kind of glad that um, sweeping edge is not on bedrock because i find that especially for fighting entities or farming it's just a lot more efficient to pick and choose which one you want to the hit as opposed to just hitting a whole area but, I mean I wouldn't complain if they did add it over there but at a certain point you gotta be happy with what you got am I right so we got two sheeps in here which is good because we're gonna need two sheeps for our wool farm so when it comes time to put them in there I think we will be ready to go all right I think that's good enough how much did I get 56 no need to no need to get them down to zero. Oh, I thought that I thought the sheep was the carpet that I could use to jump out <laughs> okay very good and my trees are growing and let's see my horse is still there yeah George he's still doing all right he is still doing all right All right, so let us cook some of this delicious food. And finish out this iron axe. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't break halfway up the tree. That would be very, very annoying. Which tree is shorter? I think this one's shorter. Yeah, I think this one's shorter. I'll cut down the shorter tree just in case. Yeah. So, let's get started on this. So, what is the next big project that we are going to be working on? Ideally, I would like to start a villager trading hall. And I have the necessary... I have the brewing stand. I have the blaze rod. I managed to just get one blaze rod from my nether adventures so I think maybe I should just start working on a potion room because that way I'll get the splash potions of weakness and then we can start curing some zombie villagers getting that villager farm started so we could finally start playing the game you know how it is and if you love building a villager farm and you think it's a crucial part of your Minecraft world, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. So it looks like I might be able to just make it out with this axe to finish out this tree. I mean, I, I, I chopped down a lot more on the way up than I did on the way down. Perfect. Look at that. Does it show how much durability is left? No, but it is on its last legs. Oh, some saplings already started falling. I'm going to collect those. Try to get... Yeah, at least four so I could replant the next one. And I'll give it enough space. I'll plant it here. So that the leaves don't overlap with the other one. And two. Oh, this one looks like a little George. Oh, look at these. Oh, look at these little babies. Little baby horses. Okay. So nighttime, so bedtime, because in the Minecraft world, the only time you go to bed is at nighttime, not like in the real world where you can sleep anytime you want and stay up. Okay. So uh, let's just get a little organized over here. So our wood is going to go over here. Let's get all of our logs together. Okay. 
And our planks are going to go over there. More spruce logs. Okay. That's good. Now I have a decent amount of wood. I won't need to go and get that for a while. Uh, let's put some iron back. My helmet is off. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my new skin. Look at that. Look at that. And if you look very closely, actually, there's a little bite taken out of my piece of toast arm. You could see that over there. I thought that was pretty cool. I can't believe they let you have some gaps in your character. I feel like... But maybe it's just client-side. I don't think it would actually work on a real server. Because then that would just be too OP. You could make, like, actually an invisible skin. I don't need the strip log. Absolutely not. Um, cobble. I'm gonna need some of that. So now for blocks, let's just put some more blocks away. What do we got? The coal is important. Bow and arrow sticks. Sticks counts as an item. I'm gonna put my one piece of cobble away. Rotten flesh. I mean, why not? And put the axe away. Okay. Is this done? Oh, did I only put one in there? Whoops. Definitely don't need that many, but... Put seven. Oh, yeah, and look at that. All that gold ready to collect. I think I'll just wait. There's no rush really to get it, and it's always good experience. I'm not in a rush to get a lot of experience right now. Okay, so now that we've done our little rounds... Let's go check on the grass block situation. Uh, it doesn't look like it has spread over here just yet. But that is okay because we need glass for this build and for other stuff as well. Let's see how much sugar cane I got. Two stacks or almost two stacks. It's not bad. Not bad considering it's passive income. Okay, so yes, I need glass. So let's go and make a shovel. And, oh, I already have one right here. Perfect. And let's go get a little bit of sand so we can make some glass. It always comes in useful. So if I remember correctly, there's a lot of water that way. I don't think it's a beach. I think if I needed the beach, I think I needed to go this way. Well, we'll find some. We will definitely find some. I mean, I know I'm close to a lot of water where I am. Here's a little bit of sand. Sure, why not? It counts, right? Imagine there's like actually a stack in here hidden and I almost just passed it by because it looked like it was just four pieces of sand. Okay, keep going. Okay, how much should we get? 12 and a little bit more over here. Not bad. I mean, definitely enough for the wool farm. A lot more than I was expecting, for sure. But I think we can get just a little bit more. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, very good. So I think I should somewhat start preparing for the villager trading hall. I mean, I should at least think about what I'm going to do. No, I should really do the potions things first because... I mean, I need, the, I need the potions before I do anything else. So one thing at a time. I mean, I'm just so eager to get started in this world. It's been a really la a long time since my last Minecraft world, so... Um, I just want to get right into it, you know? So let's just get all this sand here so I don't have to come back and say, oh, I need one more piece of sand. Because glass, I mean, I always misplace it on the first try, so I end up needing double the amount that I actually think I do. Okay. Okay, and some of it's sinking, some of it's floating. That must be a glitch, no? Because... Oh, I thought items were supposed to float in water. I guess maybe not, depending. 
So I think two stacks is a good amount to start with. So I'll put the 26 in my hotbar. So that way I know... Oh, does he have a trident? Okay, no. But also, no thank you. Uh, whatever you're selling, I definitely don't want it. I definitely don't want it. No thank you. Unless he was selling a trident, then that would be a different story. And this is a huge cave down here. But I don't want to die underwater again. Deja vu, right? Alright. 37. I need a bit more, but I can't do that while I'm floating in the water. I mean, I don't blame him. If I was swimming in water, I wouldn't even be able to dig out one block of sand. So, Steve is a lot stronger than I am. Absolutely. And some clay too. But actually, you can make clay now. Because you can have mud with the uh, dripstone. So you can just make clay. It used to be like, so annoying to get. Literally so annoying to get. And it was a way to make red bricks. Like, such a common building item. Which I always ended up using in like my farm builds. Because I find it gives like a really good... Like farm aesthetic. Oh, I reached 64. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't think I need more than two stacks of glass right at this time, and I can always come back for more. Alright. So, let's get back and cook this glass, Jesse. We gotta cook some glass. Okay, so I'll put one in here, and I'll put one in here, and I'll need some of that coal. So it's eight and eight, which makes 16. So eight in here, and eight in here. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so m maybe I should just finish the wool farm and then just let the grass take over and kind of let it do its thing. Um, so I need to put the glass here and I need the shears. Where are the shears? Okay, let's... So how am I going to get the sheep up here? That is the real question. Because the thing is that I have to like drop them into the hole. Right. And where's my stairs? Literally one block. I didn't give myself any wiggle room here, so I have to I have to clear out a staircase because I'm gonna have to bring the sheep up over here. And this place is gonna be gonna need to be two blocks high for me to stand here. Okay. And I guess I could use stairs and a lead and just kind of bring them up. Yeah, so I guess I can go like that. Okay. And one like that. Yeah, just like that. It's going to be a little tight. But I think I'll I'll make it. Okay. Very good. Then I need to close this area off with dirt. Perfect, and I ended up getting some dirt. I'm going to put a torch back here just so that nothing is spawning there. So I need to put the dirt like that. And then I need to drop the sheep right in there. Uh, but not without putting the glass there first. So let's go put our glass. I think I should have enough by now. Yeah, 13s. More than enough. And I need my shears. Which those should be right in here. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Um, yes. I come up here. Do a little bit of parkour. And one, two. Ah, uh, see, and I already messed up. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I need to put the shears. Okay, 
Very good. And then I need a way to get to the dispenser. Which I... I actually... I'd have to break this block. But uh, that's okay. The, the shears are going to last for a while anyways. Okay, so let me get two leads. For my sheps. And we're going to get the sheps. It's nighttime already? Oh, these days go fast. I wouldn't last very long in a Minecraft 100 days challenge. Like 20 minutes. Okay. So, oh. Oh, that's uh, trouble. That is trouble that I do not want right now. Look, creeper. Creepy creeper. There we go. Drop that. Oh, I didn't even drop it. Can't believe it. Okay, here's the sheep. Okay, so I guess I'll just start with one for now. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna come up here, sheep. Come on, sheep. Keep that open. Good. All right, very good. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheepy sheep. Welcome to your new home. Get them up here. You're gonna come up this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. And then you are going into. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. I know you're very close. There we go. Good. And that should be collected by the chest. Perfect. One down, one to go. I'm going to need to get this other sheep out of here. And I feel like this one might be a little bit more difficult. Come on. Can I get him to jump on this thing? I don't think he knows to jump on this thing. Okay. So, in the meantime... Is there another sheep that I could use? I really don't want to open up this enclosure. It's going to be really difficult to get them all back in there. No, I guess that's my only option for now. Okay, unless I... Come on, sheep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you have been chosen. You are the chosen one. All right, very good. Very good. Sorry, cows, but at least a couple of you got, a couple of you got free, so... All right, you eat and, eat and walk at the same time. It's very hungry, sheep. Come on. And come inside. All right, perfect. So, let us get you inside here with your new buddy. And get in there with your little friend. Introduce yourselves. Get to know each other. You are going to be really good friends. No, no, come on. He didn't mean what he said. He didn't mean what he said. Come on in. Come on in. Get in there. <laughs> I really hope I don't fall in there. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. You're doing... You're so close. You're doing so good. No, where are you going? Where are you going, sheep? Okay, no more going anywhere for you, sheep. <laughs> the last place you're going is in here. There we go, good sheep. And we can place the final dirt block on top. 
All right, now we just have to wait for this grass to spread. Which, it has taken a very long time. But at least the sheeps are in there, waiting and ready. So when the time comes, the wool will just start pouring in. All right, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Please drop a comment. Tell me what you think. And hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right, see you later. Toaster out.